kids on it throughout the entire night. And uh, this is a look back. This started around 10 o'clock for this line really to move through. As you can see the beginning of this loop here, we have those severe thunderstorm warnings, those tornado warnings. So again, the National Weather Service will likely go out today. I asked them um, on our channels. We haven't heard back yet, but they will likely be out today to continue to survey the damage. But we have a lot going on today, even on the back side of this system. So let's get into it. Yesterday was a beautiful day. Look at these temperatures. Outstanding. We've never hit 70 degrees in February ever before on record. All of the uh, yellow, orange colored temperatures there, those are breaking records. So plenty of us in the 70s yesterday. And now look where we're headed this morning. Quite a drop off. You can clearly tell where that cold front is as we're going to drop back in the 20s, 30s, teens, single digits. We're all going to feel quite the changeover and we're already seeing that split the region this morning. This is along with very gusty breezy winds already having wind gusts this morning upwards of 45 miles per hour. We're going to keep the strength of these winds pretty much all day long. So a very blustery day is now we factor in these colder temps and start to see some light snow as well. So this is what temperatures will feel like as we go throughout the day. We're going to continue all day long to feel like we are in the teens and single digits. So hopefully you didn't put your winter coat away just yet. You're going to need it throughout the entire day. Here's a look currently on satellite radar. We're in that mixing zone as these temperatures switch and drop off as we'll get a wintry mix for the first couple of hours. And we could even see a flash freeze. Any water on the roadways as those temperatures keep falling can very quickly and very easily turn into ice, especially on bridges and overpasses, which freeze first. So that can cause some challenges on your morning commute. But this will continue to wrap around and then we're going to fire on some lake effect snow as we go throughout the morning. This will be overall some light snow, a general one, maybe two inches of accumulations, mostly on grassy surfaces, and it only lasts through this afternoon. By this evening, we really shut things down and keep with a mix of cloud cover, but still those bitter cold temperatures. So we are in a winter weather advisory for almost everyone across West Michigan until four o'clock today. But again, this snow will be winding down throughout the afternoon as we're going to be in the 20s for actual temperatures feel like the teens and single digits. So overnight tonight, we're going to drop back towards 20 degrees. We'll be dry and quiet, partly cloudy conditions, and we're going to stay dry and quiet the next couple of days and start to bump back up our temperatures slowly but surely. Tomorrow we'll be in the 30s feeling like the 20s. By the time we hit the weekend, you won't even remember that we had snow. Well, maybe you will because it's bitter cold today, but it'll be uh, long gone by the time we hit the weekend. So again, falling temps today, that cold lingering tomorrow, breezy still on Friday, 48 degrees, but look at the weekend, upper 50s, mid 60s, we'll bring on that sunshine, a gorgeous weekend, we'll stay warm into Monday towards 70 degrees once again with a shower and storm chance. And I think we're going to stay warm for a little while. The Climate Prediction Center continues to put us in these above average temperatures for the next 8 to 14 days as this now takes us out to March 12th.